Okay, today we're gonna look at how to compile multiple Excel files in into one database in Duosoft. And you can put it up. And so you can see here on the C drive I've created a folder I've called it Excel macros could you actually use Excel here. And and I've got several Excel S files. And so it's very important that you just keep track of if you're using Excel S or it's or Excel S X, I think it's a newer version. And so, what I'm going to do first, is I'm going to make sure all my files are in this folder. I'm going to open up Excel, and then I'm going to go to the Developer tab. If you don't have the Developer tab, you go File, Options, a nice ribbon, and you click, go to the right hand side, and click on Developer, and then click OK. And then this tab comes up. Inside, we're actually not doing macros, we're doing Visual Basic. So click on Visual Basic, click on Insert, Module, and then the code that's included here, I got from um, a YouTube channel called Learn from Google. It's a code that they wrote. So it's provided here. You just copy it, paste it. I just go uh, debug and compile to check that there's no issue. Seems okay. I'm going to save it. I'm under saving it all in the same folder in the C drive so I can find it again. You can call it a name. Um, and you can go here and say macro is enable workbook. So XL is in and click save. So now it's saved it. Now we're going to, very important here as you can see, there's no path data. So you need to fill in here the path where you have saved your files on your computer. So mine, for example, is C, and um, semicolon backslash, sorry, backslash, and then Excel macros. Don't forget the backslash again. You can actually do it, I think if you go here and click the down arrow. As soon as you go into the folder where all your files are, click the down arrow, it gives you the path here, you can actually copy that and paste it into this window here, but then don't forget to add that backslash. And I'm going to click save again. And now I'm going to click run. And you can see it's busy loading in my files, my sheets on the side here. And so it seems it's really opening, we have no more problems, do you want to reopen? And I say no, it says I've got an error, that's fine, to end. And now if I go back to my uh, blank workbook, so really this blank workbook I started with is the master workbook. And what it's done now is it's imported, you can see here, all of these individual files that I had. It's still got sheet 1, 2, and 3, so I'm actually going to go into those. Okay, and so now this I can now import into Excel. So I'm going to save it. But actually now I'm going to go and save as uh, a normal Excel S file. Now I can go into GSR, which I put it, go database, import, Excel spreadsheet, all sheets. What is the name of this database? I'm going to call it. I'm just saying test, but please give a useful name that you can use. Click OK. If you have uh, something to check here, if you've got more than 200 Excel spreadsheets, you're going to have to change this value here to something more. But I know I don't, so I'm just going to click OK. Oh, important. I'm going to save it in my C drive. I can store sheets as lines. I want it as individual lines. Click OK. Let's go loading. Okay, once it's finished loading, you can right click on top and you can see it's loaded all of my lines. Um, I only have a few lines here, but now I can actually go and put it. So let's just this is save and other stuff. I would now go get an image, put in Minamico, which I, my channel to do is level nag. Click OK. Remember, this is, I've only got about five lines with the whole series there again. 
how can you can see it's clearly that part of it here. So this is how you'd load um, multiple Excel files with different lines from your magnetic survey into one master Excel document and then you import that master Excel document into GeoSite so that you can build up your data.